In observation of Juneteenth, we'd like to share with you a new painting we recently acquired at the Brandywine River Museum of Art by Clementine Hunter. This painting is 24 inches tall and 18 inches wide and is painted in oil on a canvas board. The subject is a bouquet of flowers, six bright zinnias and a daffodil on a russet colored background. Hunter, an African-American woman artist, is known for her interpretations of African-American life in the South, rendered in the self-taught tradition. When her works were exhibited in the 1950s, segregation laws prevented her from entering the gallery where they were displayed. She eventually gained fame in the 1970s, from which this painting dates, for her lively and brilliantly colored work. She had a particular affinity for painting zinnias, so much so that a recent opera about the artist was entitled Zinnias, The Life of Clementine Hunter. Hunter was born in 1886, spending most of her life as a field hand and cook on a cotton plantation in Louisiana called Melrose. The plantation was also an artist's colony in the 1930s, giving her access to paint and material with which she taught herself how to, in her own words, mark a picture. In 1955, she decorated the African house at Melrose Plantation with murals in her signature style depicting narrative scenes of cotton picking, church going, a wedding, and the pecan harvest, among others. These works are based on her memories and on the stories she heard of plantation life from others. Like Brandywine, Melrose Plantation is a member of the Historic Artists' Homes and Studios in honor of Hunter's lifetime of work there. Juneteenth is often called America's Second Independence Day as it marks the last day that Africans and their descendants were held in bondage in the United States. Even though the Emancipation Proclamation was issued on January 1, 1863, freeing enslaved people in the United States, it was not until after the end of the Civil War that Union soldiers were able to enforce the proclamation in the former Confederacy. On June 19th, 1865, the soldiers reached the most remote of the slave states, Texas, and announced the war was over and the enslaved were now free. On June 19, 2019, Pennsylvania's Governor Tom Wolfe signed a law making Juneteenth an official state holiday. This year, 2020, marks the first official recognition and celebration of that day in Pennsylvania, designated as Juneteenth National Freedom Day. Locally, Philadelphia's Juneteenth Parade and Festival is the largest celebration in the nation.